So today we're going to be creating this sort of 60s psychedelic groovy animation in After Effects. Yeah, let's jump straight into it. So open up After Effects. We're going to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080. And let's just call it, we'll call it groovy comp. Let's set it to 10 seconds and it's going to be 30 frames per second. Over here, I'm going to just hold control and just click. That's just going to turn it into frames. I prefer working in frames as opposed to seconds, but that's down to your preference. So yeah, just to change that, you can hold control and just click on this bit here. It just switches between time code and frame. So I'm going to create a new solid. So right click, create new solid, and we're going to create a black solid at the same dimensions as the composition. And we're going to add an effect on this. Now I can never remember where this effect is. So what you want to do is actually install a plugin called Video Copilot. This is just, this is a plugin you need to have if you're working in After Effects, just so you don't have to keep going through here. It's called a FX Console. I'll leave a link in the description. It just basically allows a little shortcut where you can just hit Control Space while clicking on a layer. Hit Control Space and you can just search an effect. So I'm going to search for Fractal Noise. So yeah, once again, it's called FX Console by Video Copilot. Make sure you download that because it's free and it just makes working in After Effects like 10 times faster. So we're going to add a fractal noise. We're going to set it to smeary and we're going to change the thing to spline. And I'm just going to pump up this contrast, drop this complexity down all the way down zero or to one or whatever. And yeah, maybe pump up the brightness a bit. Just play around with these settings so you get this sort of like look here. And we're just going to animate this now. So we're going to go over to evolution here, just add a keyframe. And if you hit you on your keyboard while clicking on the layer, you can see your keyframes now for the, for the fractal noise. So we just added the keyframe here. We're going to go to the end. So hit end on your key on your keyboard. That's going to take you to the last frame. And we're going to just set this evolution to one. So you've got two options on the evolution. You've got either a precise angle, or you can just hit one on the keyboard on this bit here, which will essentially turns that to 360. So it gives it a full revolution. So we've got one revolution here and you're gonna notice it's not perfectly looping. So the end frame does not look the same as the first frame. That's because you just need to go over to here in evolution options, just check cycle evolution. And now if we jump to the start, if we jump to the first frame and the last frame, you can see they look exactly the same and that's gonna create a perfect loop. So now with the fractal noise added, we're gonna go again, control space, bring up your effects console. We're gonna add Colorama and that's gonna essentially assign color color to black, to luminance values. So basically the black and white fractal noise, this is basically adding color to the, the luminance value. So the darks, grays and, 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 the, and the whites is essentially assigning color data to it. And you can see which color data it's assigning with this output cycle. So I think it goes from, so from here on this wheel is black and then gray and then white over here. So something like that. But we're just gonna use the default one because this is sort of where we're going with it. And you can kind of see where we're going with this now. So I would just now go back to your fractal noise and we're just gonna pump up the scale. So if you go to transform the scale, something like that. And there you go. You got a groovy sort of 60s psychedelic um, animation here. If you do want to sort of hone in the the way the color armors sort of look in these sort of patterns, again, you just go back to your original, the one that, that's actually got the color armor on it and on the fractal noise. You just play around with these contrast settings and the brightness. So that's gonna sort of change where those black and white parts sort of are on the fractal noise and it and obviously because that's what's driving the color that will sort of change the way your patterns look so yeah all the patterns are coming from this fractal noise and this is just sort of colorizing them so yeah you do want to sort of play around with different noise types you can but i found this one sort of looks close to that sort of 60s hippie look if you want to just add text you can go new text and we're gonna go hey baby change this text to something like as a one piece maybe no i can't remember what it's called Give me a minute i just gotta find the font i can't remember what it's called off, off the top of my head we'll go a super funky that'll work uh, i think you can find this on the font 
I'm just gonna make it white. So over here, that's where that's the color of the text. I'm gonna push this up and let's just center the anchor point. So I've got I've got another plugin that's free. It's called Eframe. It's called Anchor Point Mover by Animation Composer. Uh, it's called a Animation Composer, and one of them is called Anchor Point Mover. You can just just brings up a little window that makes it easy to assign anchor points. So I'm just going to center that anchor point. Why After Effects doesn't have this by default, I don't have a clue. But yeah, that's a tale as old as time though. But yeah, so I'm just going to add a bit of stroke as well. So we're going to bring this stroke up like that. Um, scale up that, that font. And we're going to just center that text as well. So let's put it in. So we go over to Window Align. Let's click on this one and this one. Align center horizontally, align center vertically. And let's just do that. And yeah. And if you want to add a bit of movement to this, what you can also do is just add another solid, all this displacement, bring this behind the, the at the bottom. And I'm gonna hide these just so we can see what we're doing. And we're just gonna add another fractal noise. Uh, we'll put this as turbulent smooth, pump the contrast up a bit, bring the brightness down and the contrast up again and let's scale it up a bit and we're going to do the same thing here so we're going to add drop that complexity down a bit to like i don't know three actually we'll say four actually we'll say five and let's just again keyframe that evolution so add a keyframe bring up the keyframes here with you again so we can see what's going on skip to the end set that to one and again cyclic evolution so it does a perfect loop and now we're going to add we're gonna use this fractal noise to drive a displacement on this text. So click on your text layer, we're gonna hit control space and we are going to search for displacement map and you wanna set this to your displace. But you also wanna set the source to effects and masks. Otherwise it's not gonna read the effects on this. Now you see you get a bit of displacement. It's not that noticeable. So we're gonna set this to 10, set that to 10. And now sort of see where we're going. Maybe we need to scale this up a bit more again. Fractal noise, so it's like this. And I think maybe we will drop the complexity a bit. So drop that to three, 3.5 I think. And maybe bring the scale down a bit more now. So probably around there. Oh, very trippy. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So obviously you don't need the text. You can just have like this background animation, something like this sort of cool lava lampy sort of hippy sort of background if you want if you want to add the text yeah just adding that displacement just sort of gives it a bit of movement sort of gives it that sort of psychedelic sort of look you know i'm gonna leave it there so yeah if you enjoyed the tutorial leave a like and subscribe all that and yeah see you in the next one